Mr. Speaker, maybe the, maybe the minister can help us out. Am I getting warmer or colder? It's more than one, but less than five. Is it four? Is it three? Is it two? Why can't this minister just answer simple questions? Yes. Who are the other ministers and how many are there? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, Yesterday in this chamber, I had a member of the opposition come over to me and tell me not to take it personal because what happens here is just a game. Yeah. But what I can say, Mr. Speaker, is that for our government, it's absolutely not a game. Yeah. We are working to improve the lives of Canadians. Yeah. And what I can say is for those 300,000 children who are being lifted out of poverty, yeah. for their parents, it's intensely personal. Yeah. They care about our country and they care about their family. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, we will not play the games of yeah. the opposition. We're going to work on behalf of Canadians. Yeah. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, nobody here thinks that it's a game to expect ministers to be held accountable right. and to be open and transparent. But there have been some ministers who have been playing a game. It was called hide the assets. Right. And it, in the case of the finance minister, it lasted for two years. Right. Now, all the opposition wants to know, all Canadians want to know is who are the ministers who are using similar loopholes? How many are there? And when did the prime minister know that this was going on? Here, here, here. The Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, the member opposite is wrong, and he knows he's wrong. I disclosed all of my assets to the Ethics Commissioner and will continue to work with her. We will not play the games that they are playing. We will continue to work, work with Canadians. I would ask the Honourable Member for Carleton and others to listen to the answers as well as, of course, to the questions. But we need to hear both, and not, as Speaker, I need to hear whether people make, uh, say things that break the rules. So therefore, we need to listen. The Honourable Minister of Finance has the floor. The rules of the Mr. House. Mr. Speaker, as I said, we won't be playing games. We will focus on Canadians. And for the member from Regina Capel, we know that for the 16,090 children that have received the Canada Child Benefit, on average $700 per family, it's not a game to them. It's helping their family. That's what we're working to do, and we will continue to do so. Well, we the opposition. Well, Mr. Speaker, um, I would be happy if the minister could tell me how I'm wrong. Am I wrong when I say that the minister hid his assets for two years? Is the ethics commissioner wrong when she says that there is more than one minister but less than five? Are Canadians wrong to expect a little bit better from this finance minister and this prime, man prime minister? So once again, simple questions deserve simple answers. Who are the other ministers that are using the same loophole that the fi finance minister used? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I can say that, yes, the member opposite is wrong when he says that I didn't disclose all my assets. I worked with the Ethics Commissioner, as all of us on this side are committed to doing. We will continue to do so. What I can say, though, is Canadians were right when they decided to elect our government, because they knew that we would focus on them and not focus on playing games that weren't any advantage for them or their family. Happily for them, our country's in a much better situation yes. with higher growth and better situation for families across this country. I have to ask the Honourable Member for Brandon Surris to remember not to speak unless he has the floor. I know he's got a great baritone voice, but I only want to hear it when it's his turn to speak. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, Mr. Speaker, if I'm wrong, then so too must be the Ethics Commissioner who fined the Finance Minister for not disclosing his actions. Is that some kind of a compliance fine that she issued to him? So I guess my last question to the finance minister would be, if he actually did disclose his assets for the past few years, will he be asking for his $200 back? Uh, Honourable Minister of Finance. Well, Mr. Speaker, what I can say to the member opposite is wrong again. What happened here is I disclosed all of my assets, and in fact, there was an administrative error that we satisfied the commissioner with a $200 fine, which I paid. So, Mr. Speaker, we are trying to work to help Canadians not play the games that the members opposite are trying to play, because we know that that's what we were elected to do. So for all those Canadians who looked at what we announced last week, the level of growth our country is seeing, the improvements we're going to make in the Canada Child Benefit and the Working Income Tax Benefit, we're going to tell them that we're working for them, Mr. Speaker.